Hey guys, it's Chris with Talking Through the Medias, and I'm going to. This is going to be the start of the of a new direction for Talking Through the Medias, the full weekly episode, it, episodic, schizophrenic episodes of uh, the show, and we going to be doing a little bit more commentaries but we we call it talking through the medias over here you know we're going to be talking that's what we do me and sean when we when we get together we're not that we're not those guys that that goes out there and ruins the film oh no 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 i got i, got, I have rules I, I have standards i i'm sitting there and focused like a laser but uh, when it comes to a film that i've already seen and whatnot especially with a, a friend that that's also seen it too you know, I'll I'll talk my ass off, and uh, that's what this is. This is going to be like my pilot episode, and um, it's going to be Clerks. Clerks is the movie that did it for me, man. That's the one that changed the game for me, and I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing right now if it wasn't if it wasn't for uh, if it wasn't for that if it wasn't for that movie. Sorry, I was just doing a little mic little mic test right here. Got the mic all the way up to my to my dome. But we're gonna be doing clerks. Kevin Smith clerks, man. This is the one. This is the comedy. I just got it here on my, my voodoo. And I'm gonna watch it. I was looking for my DVD. I couldn't find it. And I was like, screw it. Let me just let me just grab. Let me just get this thing on voodoo. Man, I love this movie. I wanna have it forever. $3.99 to rent it. $4.99 to purchase. What do you think I did? You're damn right I rented that bitch. No, no, no. I paid the extra buck, you know, so I can take it anywhere I go for life. One dollar for life. So without further ado, all right. So if you've seen this movie before and good for you, you're you're one of the most smartest, most brilliant people in the in America today. If you haven't. All right. You know, you probably don't want to listen to me talk through this thing. If you, I mean, unless you want to. I don't know. Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. I, like I said, I know a lot about a little and a little about a lot of things. I do know one thing, though. Kevin Smith is a fucking genius. And I'm about to enjoy this movie with you guys right now. So right now, I got the stream up. It's at zero, 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 zero. And it's we're going to play right now. So what are we in? What are we about? Like what? How long have I been fucking talking? Two minutes and 34 seconds in? All right, so that's where I'm going to mark it. So right now, we're going to hit play at 240. There we go. We're playing. If you don't know, you should have already been played right now. So Mirror Max is on. The cloud is walking through this fucking clown. <laughs> I remember I was like 14, 13 years old when I first saw this movie. I was like, what the fuck is this? A little bad animation. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> How much money Ke- uh, Kevin had to do any of this shit, but I felt like I, I knew right then and there. I was like, "Oh, this dude here lost all of his money. He uh, that was a mistake. You got a pedophile clown. <laughs> That's how you're gonna start your." But who who knew that View Askew Productions, the View Askewiverse, who knew that Kevin Smith would be the the real pioneer. Fuck Feige, even though I love him and all that. Fuck all these guys is doing this cinematic shared universe shit. Kevin Smith with this plopping out of the closet, tired as fuck, lazy ass way to launch a universe. That's how that's how we that's how we do our life. That's that's how life is. You just come in just like what the fuck? I'm warm inside the womb. What the fuck? People slapping me, they're poking me with stuff. I'm being born. I'm like it's cold as shit out here. What the hell is going on? That's why babies are crying. You're starting off life, it's all fucked. It's like what the fuck happened? It's a metaphor, man. That right there with Dante, that's Dante Hicks right there. You got Dante, you got him, you got him falling right out of the uh You got him falling right out of the uh the closet just like life man clerks that damn dog that dog's probably dead by now what I wouldn't give to have like Kevin Smith like sit down with me and talk about this stuff just two of us is here eating popcorns and steaks and shit I'd be like Kevin pass the popcorn he'd be like what popcorn I'm like fuck but he's not fat anymore, man. He's lost a lot of weight, man. He's looking real good. 
unless I don't know what I'm talking about, he probably gained it all back. I mean, he does call himself Fat Man on Black um, on Black Man on Batman. <laughs> Let me go into this shit. I'm gonna. No oh, man, I I didn't know what I was expecting, man. I'm watching this movie. It was it was uh, a a chance. I, I just did it because you know what? I watched everything. I was like, you know what? I I was like, I was going my 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 local blockbuster every Thursday. My me, my mom, my brother. Every Thursday, man, it was like an event. It was like going to the movie theater on a Friday. Every Thursday we went. It was either Wednesday or Thursday. Was it Wednesday? It was Thursday. Every Thursday, mostly. It was like a tradition. In the Fagan house, man. Get up, go to Blockbuster. Probably because mom was like, I'm not spending all that fucking money at the movie theaters. And you better turn those tapes in time. I'm not paying those lamb late fees. That's where they got you. That's why Blockbuster's out of business now. All that hate with that fucking, with those late fees and shit, man. That's how they made, they made billions of dollars on late fees alone. That's how they got you. Kevin Smith, Scott Moser, producer. I heard Kevin Smith, he, um, I heard he maxed out his credit cards or his parents' cards, whatever, to get this thing off the ground, to make this dream happen. For all he knew, this could have been a disaster. This might have been a go nowhere, nothing, the view of Skewerverse. All of the Jay and Silent Bob strikes back, the cartoon, all the dick and fart jokes, everything. It, it, it could have been, it would have never been. Jersey Girl, the classic Oscar winning Jersey Girl. Ben Affleck would have never became Batman. None of this shit would have ever happened. Been a nothing burger. They like biting into a big ass bun. No meat, no lettuce, two off beef patties. Special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seeds, but none of that shit would have happened if it wasn't for Dante Hicks getting his ass out of that closet and starting this whole fucking thing. And now he's like the to me he's like the face of this of this universe. That's probably why he was in every every movie playing a different Hicks. It was like a, I think it was like his cousins or some shit like that. It's kind of how they how they played it, right? Yeah, Dante Hicks, Gil Hicks, I think it was. Uh, was it a uh, Mallrats? I can't believe I remember that fucking name. Um, unless I got it wrong. Check out this cast here. So you got Kevin Smith, you got Jason Mewes, Jay and Silent Bob, Jeff Anderson. That's Randall. He'll be coming in in a minute. Not not too soon. I like the fact that they had the partner in crime not even come in at the top of the movie. He came in like fucking 20, 30 minutes later. Late as hell. Just like in the movie. That was probably a metaphor for the movie. Late in the fucking movie. Just like you were late at your job. Brian O. Halloran playing Dante Hicks. You check out the ladies. The lovely, lovely ladies. Marilyn uh, Gigliotti. And who else? And who else do we got? Where is she? I know she's here. That's not a picture of Lisa Spooner. That? Oh, what the fuck? Then who is this? All right, that's Marilyn. Who the fuck is Lisa? I think they got these pictures mixed. They, no, 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 no. Yeah, that's it. That is it. Damn, they look exactly the same right here. They look exactly the same right now. I'm not even paying attention to the movie right now. I'm like looking at Lisa Spooner, who played Caitlin Bree. Mm. I had a crush on Caitlin Bree, man. I don't know what it was. Like any girl that's willing to do that in the bathroom. She has my vote for president all day. All day. I heard that the Clerks 3 movie was canceled, man. I'm so fucking bummed about that. You gotta max out those cards again, Kevin. He said he just told him, get the fuck out of my store if you're gonna be doing that shit. And he's like, ah, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay right the fuck here. You got Jay and Silent Bob. Very first time in history. Jay and Silent Bob 
hits the fucking scene. It was back in the day when that's all you had to do, all you could do back in the day, man. You're just hanging out in front of malls, in front of stores, on the corners, just chilling. Unless you're selling dope, which was this, which is what these guys were doing. But I mean, at the same time, people just did this. The '90s, man, for to me, it was like the last uh, episode, uh, last episode, uh, side of decade that was connected, that still had a uh, its finger on the pulse of, of the way society used to be back in the day. Like you know how they talk about the great old days in the '50s and the '60s when kids used to ride bikes and shit like that. I think the '90s was the last, ep- the last episode. That was the last decade that the kids still kind of had the. Nowadays, kids would be like, "Yeah, I get outside of my bike." No, you fucking don't. No, you don't. You're sitting out there, you're on your Xbox and you. You ain't on the st- uh, street corner talking about what's up, sluts, like my boy Jay. We didn't do that shit. I was 13, 14 years old watching this dude pretend like he was going down on a whole bunch of guys like a circus seal, man. The fuck was wrong with me? Fucking Willem, man. They got a different dude to play Willem in the uh, Mall Rats movie. That was funny. <laughs> I used to work at a store, man. I mean, I would not, I, I wouldn't let anybody just take over my fucking place like that. Like, you gotta, you gotta get the fuck out of here, man. Like, no, I'm not leaving. Oh, yes, you are. I mean, just call if you're not gonna fight, man. Just call the cops. I mean, you don't want to fight. You don't want to lose your job over nothing like that, man. Call the cops. That dude wouldn't stick around. Group of hate mongers. Fucking compare them to Nazis. You compare people who sell cigarettes to Nazis. I don't think it was that, uh, it's not that easy. It's not that cut and dry. You know what? And, that, and that's the thing I like about this movie, man. This is one, this is, here's the first key point. Well, how, how many minutes are we in right now? Just in case, you know, I don't know how, I don't know how your streaming service is. Mine could be all fucked up and hiccuping all the time. I'm gonna tell you exactly where I am, okay? Every 10 minutes or so, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you where I'm at. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna look around. I'm like, I hope I can, I hope I can mark it every ten minutes. And I'll, and on YouTube and whatnot, I'll display it too. So we're about at the ten minute mark almost, so I'll, I'll mark it there. Mm, there she goes. She is so beautiful. I had a crush on her too. I had a crush on all the girls in this movie. All right. <laughs> And there she is. We're at the ten minute mark, and there she is at that Supergirl pose. Just came on all of these guys with a fire hydrant. That's why I learned the word credentials. I learned, I learned what the word credentials meant. I didn't even have to look it up. You could tell. Like I guess credentials mean who the fuck are you? <laughs> You know, back in high in school and elementary, when they talked about clue word keywords and and and, uh, and like you want to learn the definition of something, you look at the words around the word. Like it would it would go uh, uh, showing your cred- like instead of you wouldn't say credentials like like you leave it blank. Showing your blank is showing your identification and your business card and, and identifying yourself as a da 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 da. And it's just the, it's the uh, it's the it's the the keywords around it. So I didn't even have to look up. Well, I was a, I was I didn't know what the word credentials meant, but because I saw this movie, because she took his business card, called him out to being a fucking asshole that's just trying to sell fucking bubble gum and shit. I realized what the word credentials meant just by looking at the situation. Kevin Smith educated me. It's probably another reason why I'm not, you know, that good at talking to girls and shit like that. Because I, I probably spoke to a lot of my exes in the same manner as Dante and uh, and his girlfriend here would uh, would talk to each other. Caitlin, no, that's not Caitlin Bree. This is uh, Veronica, man. Bunch of savages in this town. I used to say that shit a lot at school. I was in middle school or high school and shit. Every time a fight would break out, a bunch of savages in this town. Kevin Smith also taught me about paranoia. This time of day, people only buy coffee and say, you know, they see a sign and nobody's around. They think they're being watched. (laughs) 
It's true. These conversations that 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 Dante and Veronica have, I remember having a lot of these stupid conversations. I might have forced it on purpose for no reason. Thank God, probably. I mean, Kevin Smith. I'm going to say he's part of the reason why a lot of my relationships, probably good relationships, probably went to the shitter. So I'm trying to recreate clerks. Beautiful woman, smart and stuff, treated me like a king. Told me she loved me. My response was, how many dicks did you suck? It's fucking over. I was trying to force it. I wanted to live my life, my life like a movie. I've been tweeting the shit out of her too, man. She is not responding. Anybody out there, if y'all, if you're watching this commentary, this commentary with me, man, hit her up on Twitter. Say, hey, man, Chris, I'm talking to the media. He's trying to holla at you. She's probably not down with this world, though. Who knows? Maybe she is. I mean, 37 is a lot. We don't know if they're all white. It's such a hypocritical thing, man. Girl, like, she gets mad at him for sleeping with 12 different girls. And lies her ass off right now. I've only, I've only had sex with three different guys. That's what she says. Like, the other thing that we're about to find out does not count. That's why it's called oral sex. It counts. And Dante was right. It is more important. Any decent girl would just have sex with that many guys. If you're just going to go down on them like that, what are you, a fluffer? Could you imagine? I'm not talking about the real actress. The real actress is probably, you know, probably a great woman, a beautiful girl. I'm talking about the character. All right, let's just get into the, the mind of the character. Who knows? I, that's why I'm, that's why I want to see part three so bad. I want to know where she's where she is right now. I saw you saw her in uh, the end of uh, Jane Silent and Bob Strikes Back. That doesn't count. They all got together. Kevin Smith, you were right. You did fuck up. You didn't get a group picture. You should have did that. Fucking Willem Black. And if I'm not mistaken, when they changed the character on Mallrats, I think they brought this dude back on the. I don't know what was the other movie that Willem Black came back. I'm gonna have to Google that shit. What was the other movie? I know Willem came back. But I can't remember which movie it was. Everybody was fucking smoking, man. That's why I said Kevin Smith is a genius. Because only a few years later, man, smoking became unpopular. They knew exactly how to attack that stuff. You stop it in the, airport, the airports. You, you, you stop it in the restaurants. That's when it really started to change. When life changed. All of a sudden, you got the restaurants. What's next? Nightclubs, and that was the that was checkmate. The second you couldn't smoke in a restaurant, and you couldn't smoke at a nightclub anymore, then all that was it. After a while, I mean, because that's what that's what would happen. Kids and families and whatnot, they would get introduced to that stuff. You're not gonna stop your dad from chain smoking in the house, but after a while, if, it, if society isn't doing it, you go into a restaurant and all of a sudden it's clear you, know, you have a smoking section, and that smoking section was your fucking house. After a while, you know, they they move the smoking section from the part of the building to the outside of the building to your fucking house, and then nowadays you can't even smoke there anymore. If you, especially if you're rent landlords, like don't you fucking do it. Don't, don't, Thirty-seven. I was thirteen years old, man. I'm, I'm listening to. I'm gonna be tasting thir- thirty-six of the guys. This is the best argument in life. I know this whole this whole scene verbatim. I would I would be in the shower like how many how many dicks did you say? I would out to me. For a minute enough, there it out. Jesus, I didn't forget about this when he told me how many girls you fucked. This is different. This is important. Damn right. He knew all the right questions to ask. Dante turned into a fucking lawyer at this point. Yana. 
Does that include me? Permission to treat the witness as a hostile. 36 dicks. Does that include me? 37? <laughs> I don't know what I would have done. Oh, yeah. oh, man. This is where my sarcasm came. I can see it. I see every every little thing. I, Dante, this, this actor. Oh, my God. I forgot. I, I, I need to memorize his name better, man. I, I'm so bad with ma- names sometimes. So bad with names. Is it Brian? What was it? Brian, yeah, it was Brian. It's fucking Brian, dude. You you fucking taught me how to fucking how to fucking talk to people. This is exactly how I, how I condescend the people nowadays. The few. I have cra- I'll have crazy arguments with my girl nowadays. I just I get to an I don't give a fuck mode, and I just say a fucking I, I mean because they'll they'll do it. They will say the most hurtful things and, and shit. Now now it's like now I got to do it first because I know she's about to do it. So I'll say something like that. Hey, try not to suck any dick on the way to the parking lot. And you see that guy get off the wall. That's fucked up. Like, this is situations like I can say it, you can't. Like. That's his girlfriend, bro. You didn't know it could have been his girlfriend, it could have been his wife, his sister, and you try to get off the wall and go see if she's gonna suck your dick. What the fuck? Look at the balls. I guess if everybody in Jersey was bored back then, they did the balls on these guys, man. And it's like, ooh, she's sucking dick. Let's hope find out what's going on with that. I used to deal with guys like this too, man, working at the video store. I had this fucking customer argue with me about the Blair Witch Project and this shit that can't. This was because heck, sh- uh, shaky cam shit wasn't wasn't in. Nobody did that shit. Now where are we at, man? We're about to approach the ten minute mark. Forgot your keys. This guy came in. He's like, man, let me. Uh, this uh, I want my money back. I don't want this fucking movie. Like, what's wrong with it, dude? It's like it's, the camera was shaking and shit. It was like it looked like it was a bootleg and stuff. Like, dude, that was the premise. That's the whole point. It's th- it's supposed to be like you found th- like the movie was real. Like you found the footage. It's fo- it's supposed to be pretend like it's found footage. Like this really happened, dude. Like, no, fuck you. I'm not giving your money back. You gotta go back and watch this movie, man. And they're like, worried. It was that's that's how it was filmed on purpose. Like, yeah, it's blowing my mind right now too. And we're at the twenty. Here we go. At the twenty. The twenty minute mark. And he was like, man, hold up, okay, let me. And this is a black dude too, you know, but I grew up in a predominantly black neighborhood. So, you know, stuff like that, people consider white people shit. That's what we used to call it, everything. That's white people shit. So I told this dude, I'm like, man, no, dude. We don't give refunds here at this blockbuster. Which was, that was bullshit. I'm not, I didn't say that, but it was pretty much how I felt. I was like, no, nah, fuck that. That was when my fucking movie critic uh, phase was starting, I guess. I was, it was blockbuster too. I, I was, I was getting defensive in this shit. And I was like, no, 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 no. That's what the movie's supposed to be like, man. It's supposed to be like found. This, this is a new shit called found footage. It's probably, it's like it, was, it was like trying to explain email to people back in the day. What the fuck? And then you you put your name in front. You put that little A with the circle symbol after it. I think it's supposed to mean at. And then the name of their website on the World Wide Web. So you're Christopher at, you know, Yahoo, whatever, dot com. Like what? Yeah, and instead of writing a letter, putting it in an envelope, buying a stamp, putting it in the mailbox, make waiting till it gets there, and they open it up and read it, you can write that shit down on a computer. Hit the send button, and they get it whenever they get on their computer. Call them on the phone and tell them, hey, go check your email, because we didn't text back then. You didn't have text messages really back then. And you look like a dumbass. You're like, well, what did you say? What'd you write? No, 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 no. Go fucking check. I just sent it. Well, you fuck. You got me on the phone now. I got that fucking cord all tangled up in the kitchen. You're all the way in the living room. Go check the email. Go check your electronic mail. Like, fine. He goes out, boots up. You have to hang up the phone. You have to boot the computer. <laughs> Now all of a sudden, go. You've got mail. You forget to check the email because you're already in the chat room. 
M4G, Houston, Texas. Sex. Y'all don't realize this, man. All these instant messages and these private like sex uh, websites and shit. AOL had that shit on lock. You think Craigslist was pimping? AOL was the shit. Me and my friends reminisce and talk about this shit all the time. It was like having it was like having the keys to to a godlike power back then. We didn't know what the fuck we were doing back there. Epidemics were probably spreading like a mother. I got my fair share. Still talking to his ex-girlfriend on the sly. Shit like this, man. Brian, you fucked me over, man. This is why I was so fucking bad in my 20s, man. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. Emulating you and shit, man. What the hell? I'm just not realizing this. Like, a lot of my problems that I think I had, man, it was Brian's fault, man. Dante. I'm not going to blame the actor. Dante, you fucked me over, man. And I don't smoke, though. Randall too You know I talk The way I treat a lot of customers Especially assholes That customer's always right Somebody tried to argue with me At, at an advanced screening the other day Talking about that whole The customer's always right shit No I I, I, I invoked my Mall Rats Ben Affleck In a heartbeat No dude The customer is always an asshole Especially like right now Like you're being an asshole right now dude Like Like You're not always right Human beings That, that, that whole fucking phrase Made no sense If you think about it Human beings are naturally Fallible We're bo- if, you're, if you're religious We're born sinners oh, What the fuck That's because you walk into a store And you want to buy something That means all of a sudden You become perfect Fuck you You're a human being Just like the guy behind the counter You don't treat him like shit So that means If the customer's always right What does that mean That the fucking guy that the, That's the expert That knows what the fuck is actually in the back and knows what the hell is going on in the store more than you do? He's always wrong. What does that? What does that fucking mean? It means shit. The customer is always right. I think you should give me everything in my basket for free. Why? Because the customer is always right. Well, go ahead, sir. What the fuck do I got this scanner? What do I need this shit for? Go on ahead. Get the hell out of here. What the hell? You don't need to bag that shit. You're always right. Throw those vegetables in your trunk. You're good. No, this shit was fucking crazy. If I'm not mistaken, that little girl repeated one of the fucking pornos that he spit it out. Men alone to the KY connection. I looked it up. Yeah, my internet sucks, man. I'm just letting you guys know. I'll give y'all another marker just in case. I don't know who's listening to this shit. You could be listening to this shit years from now. This is the first one I'm done. I'm doing right here. My first commentary. I'm at the 25, 15 mark right now, so. So if my internet's hicking up and shit like that's happening and whatnot, you know. You pause, you can get back to where you need to get. Right there where I said that number, you know, you can pause at that spot. Line the DVD up again or the stream up, whatever you got. Or your internet could be the one that's bad. You could be on that uh, that dial up stuff. I could be. You could still be at the fucking opening credits for all I know if your shit's not good. I got that super stream shit. I pay extra, son. I also got this other shit working in the background. I'm probably screwing myself over. Oh, man. The fuck you didn't I mean, still didn't even have, you didn't have to sit there and stand there and look at this cat all damn day. The guy was making a face like what the fuck? What's the fucking cat the store cat? That cat has more of a right to be there than you do. Fucking human vacuum, look at that hair. Look at that hair. That's the motherfucker that was giving Trump all that info. Moscow. <laughs> oh, this dude was just doing a fucking Russian accent. I wonder who this guy is. I don't recognize him from any of the other movies. He probably was just a one and done local boy. I swear to God, man, I want to go down. To, I want to go to Jersey one day. I want to take a picture in front of that store. That'd be brilliant as hell if that dude still has that sign. I assure you, we're open. That'd be the fucking most brilliant thing that dude would ever do in his life. Like I'm never gonna open these shutters again. I'm just waiting for Kevin to make another movie so I can put that sign back up. That dude 
Michael view sounds exactly the same today. I love for you is like Pazak. Oh, that shit was funny as hell. Did he say making fuck? That's funny as fuck. I gotta do a little movie magic, bro. You know, now you guys can't see me, but I got this thing on uh on podcast mode. But it's the middle of the night now. I started off in the afternoon. Now it's the middle of the night. Had to, uh, you know, the kids come in. You know, it's their time, so I can't play clerks in front of them. <laughs> I wonder what Willem was smoking that whole time. That's beautiful, man. Sounds like those guys that, oh, like Cheech and Chong. Yeah, that didn't sound sexual. That thing really had chips in it, too. I just saw it. That's the first time I ever noticed that. This is the moment where, you know, I start to realize that the guy holding the camera is really just fidgety. Empire was the better one. That's what life is. I'm a more happier guy than I mean. I, I say that I got a lot of my cues from Dante, the character, but I don't look at life a hundred percent like that. Only when shit goes bad, you know. I don't win the lottery, you know. Stock goes down, you know, whatever like that, you know. Then it's like you know, this life is really so such a down note, man. All of a sudden, I do something right, so everything goes good, and I'm like, man, life is beautiful, man. It's like the end of Return of Jedi. Randall had me the fir- when he first started talking about this. I 100% had, he had me. I'm like, dang, he's right. A lot of those guys were innocent, man. You had janitors, you had like like people that just there to water the plants. Probably had some, you know, stowaway, you know, hoes that brought up a boy. You know, people from some moon or something like that. Some alien chick, you know, got a wife and a girlfriend on the side over in the. Uh, over in the uh, rest of our system, wherever those places, or Planet Harloff, or whatever. I bring him on the desk. Say, yeah, man, you know, come on, come with me, man. Uh, no, no, I told you, I'll sneak you in, man. We'll go to the Death Star. We'll make a day of it. It's me and you for the weekend. Next thing you know, run, nigga. Luke Skywalker. Boom, you're gone. You lost everything. I wonder about the guys. I think about the, the Stone Troopers who were probably on vacation that day. You think about those guys when the Death Star blew up, when the Emperor died. Oh man! I bet those guys were in there like like civilian clothes. All of a sudden, that shit they they look up and that shit blowing up, and they're like, "Yeah, down with the Empire, man! Yeah, I was with the rebels the whole time, man." I'm like, man, aren't you a uh, officer with the Empire, man? What Empire? I don't see an Empire. That shit blew up, son. My name is Rick. That's all you're gonna say. Be a ranking officer up there. He was just on vacation. Just luckily, he just put the date in. You know, he was supposed to go on vacation like months ago. He just kept pushing it. For some reason, this weekend felt good for him. Next thing you know, Luke Skywalker <laughs> blows it all up. He's like, "Damn, my wife was up there." Oh well, time to go to Planet Harloff. <laughs> it's going down. This dude right here totally turned me around. He's like, you're right. You knew what the risk was. You going out there. You going out there to put in new windows, new force fields, little IT work. You know who the emperor is. You know that they, they treat people. They don't protect the people. They, they, they rule with fear. You know what that shit was going on. 
You wanted the money. You went up there, you're like, man, I'm about to get $50,000 to go rewire the whole Death Star's IT system. It's going to be a great weekend, guys. After all, when I come back, it's going down. We're going to go to Planet Harloff. Going to get it all, man. We're going to, it's going to be like the best. All right, let me go get this money real quick. <laughs> Next thing you know, bloop, 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 bloop. The rebels are getting. <laughs> What do you mean they're going for that one week spot, man? What week spot? We talking about, man? I'm not even supposed to be here today. I'm not even with the Empire. And all of a sudden, life is destroyed. Family starves to death, all because <laughs> it was always one man. It was always one woman. You know what she was right. She was 100% right in this one. This is the situation where the customer was right. She she called him lying. And he just didn't give a fuck. She's like, and I hope it feels good. You know what? If he was a little nicer to her, he probably could have slept, slept with her. You know, he probably could have had her. He didn't care. He just wanted to feel superior. He just wanted to do his thing. I'm like, nah. Freaking customers, man. I'm, I'm sure if he'd have flirted a little bit, he'd have locked the door. <laughs> nah. And see, now the cameras is totally still. This is the game. One tripod? I guess it depends on the situation. There's my boy from Comic Book Man. I think he was in also in all the movies, too, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. You can him, Steve, Dave. This movie probably freaked him out afterwards. He probably does shop like this from now on. He just doesn't talk about it. He goes to the comic book store, acts like a normal guy, goes to the store, just looking at eggs, spinning them and shit. And like, Can't wait for the new Wonder Woman to come out. This egg is fucking horrible. This whole fucking carton is ruined. <sighs> Look at all that. Kevin, I hope you got some money. All this product placement you you, you got going on in this film. Look at that. Got that tort. Got the Pringles. You got the tortilla. Like like potato chips. It was going down with potato chips with this show. This dude has the little has the pepper on his on his uh on his hair. That's the way his hair looks now. He's probably worth twenty one right there, trying to look like an old man. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah. Look at that smooth baby skin. Look at that. Look at that smooth skin. You never had a pimple. You always gotta listen to that part. It's like every girl in this movie has some kind of a sexual, like, like mystery uh, background. Like, some kind of a misconduct. Like, something wrong. Like. Like the fathers in this in this universe just don't know how to raise daughters. Like there's something wrong with like every girl. Like look at this little girl right here buying cigarettes. You know, We're about to set this dude up. There's something wrong with every female in this damn movie. All of them. If you plan to steal, let us know. Like what you gonna do? But hey, man, I'm gonna steal those chips. So. It's cool. It's cool. Just put the money on the table, man. Okay. He's about the worst thief ever. Do pace for the shit he's about to steal. The weird thing is, these are the kind of conversations I have with my friends nowadays. Hey, you ever think about... You ever think about the guy that has to, you know, mop up the floors at, you know, inside the... Inside the champagne room? In the strip club? That guy, you know, he's thinking about, it, you know, life. Like, a lot differently than the way we're thinking about it. Here comes the line. You I highly offended me. <laughs> that was a real vagina, ladies and gentlemen.
looking at this 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 is like old footage like you can look at this dude and all of a sudden you'd be like you can like totally fake him like and that guy grew up to become the president of the united states donald trump randall i absolutely will not apologize And this is a part of the movie that caught me, man. I mean, I remember when I was when I was. I, this movie wasn't even on my radar. It was the it was the trailer. It was it was the it was this part of the film when this dude started bitching about the coffee being hot. Oh man, I don't know what it was about that line. It caught me. It caught me. It was like, what do you mean this coffee's too hot? I mean, I mean, there's no ice. I gotta drink this coffee hot, and it was you know. And Kevin Smith started the whole cold coffee craze, you know. Nobody was putting ice in their coffee back then. Nobody realizes it, man. But but this movie started everything. <laughs> everything that we know about. See, everybody thinks it's Star Wars. Yeah, Star Wars. You know, George Lucas got us this far. Got us to Kevin Smith. But Kevin Smith started everything else. Right here. comes in with a request for an item nobody would sell at that damn place and then just go straight for an impulse buy this dude is not gonna survive that was the first time around I almost fucked it all up he made me say ew like what? This is the part. I was, man, I swear to God, I rewound that part. It was VHS tape. I rewound that part 30 minutes straight, just listening to him go 37. Oh my God. I could not believe how much time went by. And me just cracking up at that line. That was the that was the moment. It was that line. I became a die hard ride or die fan of Kevin Smith. I didn't know if he was going to make a sequel. I didn't know. I didn't know that Mall Rats was connected to. I saw the box. I was all at Blockbuster right there, just sitting there. All of a sudden, I'm looking at the box cover, passing it up. I didn't know. And then I read a little bit closer from the creator of Clerks. I'm like, what? Then I watched it. And it was literally connected. Not, not people realize that Mall Rats comes before. I mean, all the things that was happening in Mall Rats, is happen- it already happened right now. Then uh, Randall and Dante, uh, that girl who died, that was the funeral that they went to. They did all, I mean, Jay and Sada Bob did all that shit at the mall and then came to the fucking <laughs> quick stop. <laughs> fucking Jay and Silent Bob like, just brought down a whole stage like the Death Star. Just think about it, just like the prequels, they didn't even talk about it. It was like, what? I had a big ass adventure with Gil Hicks. Dante's cousin, probably. Maybe it's his brother, who knows? That same line. That's the line they should have used on Princess Leia in the Star Wars when, uh. Oh, no, 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 on Rogue One. We just need to go down there and steal the plans and get out. Who the hell is she? She's not even supposed to be here. I don't even know why you're still there. You told him early in the morning, if you're not there at a certain time, I'm gone. Fucker went to Vermont. Why? Because he knew you were gonna go out like a bitch. I don't, you don't let nobody. You don't let anybody take advantage of you like that. You don't. You don't do that. You did it. He did it to himself. Randall's a hundred percent right in this part. Right there. Like, don't yeah. Don't try to be a man now. <laughs> He 
smoke him some cigarettes. Probably bought some cigarettes. They should have showed Randall's hand like getting some of those misties or whatever that shit is. Looks like it's nighttime. I think Kevin says that the reason why they kept the shutters closed because it was better for the lighting. And it just worked better for the story afterwards with that whole, you know, I assure you we're open thing. I'm telling you, I bet this dude probably does keep those shutters closed now. No, probably not. On Clerks 2, they had the things open. Man, I wish they would have. Man, I hope Clerks 3 happens. Friends will always do this to you, man. No matter what the situation is. If you're going to give them some Gatorade. And they hook it up. Yeah, you can get some Gatorade, two dollars and forty-five cents. I still use that line to this very day. You're blunt, but you got a point. That line was so forced, man. That dude was just waiting for his next line. Fine by me. Be open after first quarter. The quick step. The dude that climbs the ladder, man. First, I thought that was Rick Darius, man. This dude is hilarious. It's the regular dude. Just trying to get some cigarettes, man. Up in the fucking store. The second he sees something he doesn't like, he he like like a like the attention span of a gnat. Just totally just starts criticizing. That's how life is, man. You be like all focused on shit. Something that you're mad about and then you see something else that you don't like. You start just ripping on that. Oh, look at you. You can't eat with bass. It was hilarious. It's like, I'm going to be late to work, man. I'm going to broke my neck on this damn ladder, man. You should have fell. You had a lawsuit. Look how fucked up that neighborhood is. I bet you any kind of money right now. I bet you anything. I bet that's all. That's I bet that's an all-black neighborhood now. I bet that's the hood now. It's been what twenty years? Reverse gentrification. <laughs> it's like fuck those cigarettes. I'm about to fucking play. Fucking Willem. Hey, the timing of that was was actually spot on. The dude in the background that left in the car, it was exact timing. That wasn't like an like a. They didn't show him leaving twice or anything like that. I wonder if that was done on. I wonder, I don't know. I gotta I got I gotta sit down and talk to Kevin Smith about this shit. He probably doesn't remember nothing. Like man, I'm so man, I was high the whole time, man. I don't know how this movie got made, man. Next thing you know, I'm a millionaire. That's the same dude driving. There you go. There's the edit. There's the edit error right there. It's the same dude still driving in the background. That's probably the dude that killed Dante. How about the yellow one, man, and the yellow one? Oh, the orange one. Which one was it? Hell no. You only brought one fucking ball. Get the fuck out. You didn't build up a sweat. And like, you know what? And forget M. Night Shyamalan. This was the biggest... Twist I've ever seen. 
this setup, this old guy, man, this was like the most brilliant thing. Come in, just bothering the hell out of him. Yeah. Instead of give you cancer, I had a cousin that used to change that. Got hit by a bus. I'm like, look at the fuck away from me. I understand that, uh, but I gotta take a shit and I need a nudie mag. This dude was hilarious, man. I got the hemorrhoids. Give me that fucking, give me the three plot. Then don't wipe it on your hemorrhoids. Like, then be careful. That's what I told him. I said, well, then be careful. Or use your hand. I don't care, man. We ain't getting. No, fuck that. I'm like, you going to pay for it? Charge them triple after all that Gatorade. <laughs> Let me just walk in it quick so I can just get free stuff. Maybe you can wipe it for me, you know? Give me a little rub and tug. You look like a sweet boy. Got any pictures of your mother? Dude looks like the father of the murderer from uh, Human Centipede 2. <laughs> look at this guy. This guy went out. Go jerk off in the bathroom. He died, and his son went crazy. Fucking stapled a whole bunch of people together. My dad got cut in the bathroom jerking off. That's where he died. Kevin Smith, I'm a fucking genius. The first low smoke. Let's fucking remember. I used to remember the order. I used to remember the number of girls until when until one awesome moment in my life it just the number just blew up but can't remember it yeah I wouldn't even want to even try to remember no no that number the illustrious 12 such a good boy we keep that number under 20 you're a good boy eat my fortune cookie I had some good Chinese man I hope you can't hear this crunching, but it's good. Told her that she looked a little fat. She went out just doing laps in the back in the pool and just dies. I've tried. I didn't reach. Never reach it. (coughs) 
You fucking pervert. <laughs> what was uh, what was Banky? Uh, is it Banky from Mall Rats? Dude, they owned the comic book store after a while. Banky and Randall should have did a movie together. That's the movie. I read that he wanted to also do a new version of Mall Rats, a sequel to Mall Rats with the younger kids, Mall Brats. Bunch of probably a movie. Oh, not not you know that wouldn't even make sense nowadays. I mean, who really goes to the mall, man? The movie, the new Mall Rats movie nowadays would just be a bunch of kids on fucking eBay and shit, Amazon buying shit, fucking trying to go viral and shit. I wonder, if, I wonder if Kevin Smith's gonna try to play it off like that's that woman is supposed to be the girl who starred in Mallrats. Her fucking body fell out, man. This is the vision he was. <laughs> Dante was just his man. His voice was just going up and up and up. I'm gonna go to Blockbuster. And I said that that's the guy who, in the alternate, in this alternate ending, that's the guy who killed Randall. Kevin should have had that same dude in the hoodie appear or make an appearance in every movie. I'm going for the uh, going for that ending where Dante gets killed. I guess he was going for the Empire Strikes Back kind of a thing. Like you're not he's supposed to be here today. You got you lost your girlfriend. You got into a big ass fight. All that stupid shit went down, and then somebody shoots you. Haven't even done a marker in a while. Let me check this out. Fifty five minutes in and fifty six seconds. Hmm. This guy's really lonely, man, just to be standing there just talking and shit. It's like I was. I'm gonna break your fucking. I'm like, what are we gonna do? You gonna just fucking stretch Armstrong over the counter? Now don't get me wrong. I'm gonna tell you right now. If he would have gone around the counter, Randall would be dead. That dude looks like a vet. Big choice. That's another line I still say to this day. Master my own destiny. I'm a master my own domain. 
Frasier did steal this, that idea. They talked about that on the cartoon, and she was hilarious. Frasier stole this idea from us. Fucking Rick Darius. Arch, what do you call him? Arch Bushman or whatever. So fucking walking hard on, just looking for a hole. I'm not. Hey, I said it, didn't I? She's probably a lie. Three fifty-four. Really? Yeah, I just said it. Cause he's a fat fuck. Yeah, me and Cody, we totally double teamed it one day. <laughs> At least she wasn't finger cuffs. Just get yourself checked out. I wonder if this dude is a real deal. If this guy wasn't like really in the background for this kind of stuff, or he was like the best actor in this whole movie. I believe him. I still believe him. He's probably in the office right now. Wishing cigarettes still existed. And I came inside your girlfriend. That dude went out of his way to bump that chest. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Rick Darius just passes him right by. <laughs> like Dante? Yeah. Wait, hold on for one sec. I'll be right back. Hey, Rick. Tom Hanks big Ghostbusters back there this shit is all out of order just comes in I'll fly with that jacket on just chewing gum not giving a fuck Hmm. 
crazy. Like Rick, what is it? <laughs> Most day at a time. That would have been funny if that I mean, just know in the future it would have been cool. That's probably what they would have played if they'd have had the rights to it. My jungle love. This is probably some local shit that they could that, that they got for free. I'm getting married, so I decided to come all the way to Jersey because I knew you'd feel bad about it. A lot of those phone games, man. Cell phones killed that. All texting. You up? I reminded him he was Asian. I said no. That was racist. Why was it such a big deal for it to be an Asian design major? What the what, what is that? What did that even mean? It's like did I feel like there's some Asian design major that used to talk shit to Kevin Smith all the time, and now Kevin's like, "Fuck you, dude! I'm a millionaire." I was just engaged. It's not a big deal. It's just a little hip. See, this was supposed to be the first character, the first female character with a head on her shoulders and all that. Even, but even it, even it kind of still, you know, started off bad. You know, she's the guy, the girl that messed his head up back in the day. She, when she comes in, she's talking about education. She's all smart. You know, she's she's pretty much making a lot of sense. And she wants to try to, you know, she knows he's in a relationship, but she wants to try something. You never know. They're probably meant to be together, right? And then what happens? All the women in this movie are. <laughs> Why am I smoking the pool of an Asian design major? <laughs> That's how she should have said it. If you're so hot, why am I smoking that pool? So I want to be your boyfriend. I've been stalking you for years. After you see all these fucking videos. <laughs> Tell me you wouldn't want to go out with me. Look at this. Look at all this. This is, this is the dream. It's good enough for Rosario Dawson. That's how that movie should have ended. Kaylin Bree should have came back. It should have been a huge fight between her and Rosario. Wait, is that what happened? No, that's not what happened. It's a popular day. Do you do not realize that Rick Dews just left? I learned what semantics meant later.
they right there. She's she, she's got, she, I can tell she's the kind of girl. He has to go down first. She has to look at her in the eyes, tell her how much she how beautiful she is, and she'll go to sleep. And then he'll he has to turn her over, slip in a little bit, and then if he doesn't come in five minutes, it's over. Get those quick pumps. She don't look like she plays any games. If you ain't if you're not flipping it around like Rick Darius does, I'm sure she's not interested. Look at Dante. He's looking down at his life. I'm gonna get some that. Is it that's how it is? That's how that's how that's hip hop? I have to ask him. Kevin, man, is that real? Is that hip hop? He's probably like, I still dance like that, dude. Every time he probably embarrasses his daughter. Best of both worlds. (laughs) Was that maybe four years old? Say holy shit, that girl, she's such a fucking snitch. She said she fucked Rick Darius, but it wasn't all that good. up the VCR that was such a, a thing and you had to go back behind that curtain and get those those tapes chicks with dicks was probably not a high demand nowadays you just go to Pornhub it's like 10,000 videos a day Whimsy. I may know how to use that in a sense. You who and Apple Jacks, baby. Product placement. It's Teletubbies. I bet she was serious. I learned what the word hermaphrodite meant because of this. Some weird stuff. That's not even possible. It's not. It's not, it's not like it's on a timer or five fourteen. Something's got to fit. I mean, there's no, there's no, there's no grid. There's nothing going on over there. And so it's just a regular store. Something's going on. Something's either turning on and spilling on it, and something. The pipe is being moved. Something's happening. For the lights to go off at four, at five fifteen every day in the bathroom. I mean, it doesn't make any damn sense. But you got it included in the plot so the next moment can happen. And of course, just like what every guy does. Of course, you check her ass. That's what you do. Ladies, that's why guys say, ladies first. Go ahead. We, we, we got to get a peek. Uh-huh. I don't know, man. She just took a Gatorade, some Yoohoo, and she's been shitting it up.
Why don't you take the tie off? I mean, what? How naked did she get? I mean, how? Why would you just automatically assume it was Dante? You just automatically just assume it's Dante? Well, you know, it's the employee's restroom, I guess. But I thought you knew that he was out there getting well, and you would assume that she would think, okay, if he was back there, that Randall would have known. It wasn't Randall's idea for her to go to the bathroom. It was hers. I mean, how would you plan something like that? You got to go. Dante, is that you? No, that's not what she does. She just slips him to the side and just lets him inside of her. With no rubber? That's what I was saying. You just put... Hey, that's the that's the brilliant part of this writing. You just laying there perfectly still, and she has technically she raped him, even if he was alive. I'm just laying here minding my own business. She took off her panties. She got on top. She did all the stroking. She came all over me. I was dead. The nudie magazine right there. You open it up probably to the same page that it was on. It's evidence, man. It's in the center phone and he died. Why would you put her in the same room with the corpse? In the same truck. Technically, this is the only normal woman in this movie. And she's the one who tagged Randall's cousin for trying to put his dick in his mouth. She's going to need years of therapy after this. She ends the story every time. And then I came. Dude puts his head on this jump. The fucking dude just close it up like you must be it's all good and we all just gonna ride to the fucking hospital why would you put her in the same <laughs> none of the paramedics back there with her salsa shark fiddle faddle I've never had fiddle faddle Look at all this stuff I've never had. There goes crunching much. The original Planters Nuts. I plot that's product placement, baby. You got Hershey's chocolate. I got it. They got it turned around for some reason. I don't know why. The ice cream cones, it's comet. Look at all this stuff. It's making me hungry, man. Shit is working. Kevin ain't getting a dime. Thirty-seven. Like, what do you mean thirty-six? Does that include me? Thirty-seven. So, like, I've been faithful to you. All those guys I fucked before you, all thirty-six of them, all thirty-six of those guys I had sex with before I met you, right before I met you. <laughs> How do you explain? You make that better right before I met you. 
you didn't go to the hospital before meeting me no i we, we got to we went straight into our relationship I'm like holy shit that's a lot of cup that they all come like right in my mouth yes that's what he said like what is every time I kiss you up, it takes 36 other guys just swirling around in there. There's probably still some evidence in there, some DNA in your in your molars. It's all between your teeth. Just like Rosario Dawson said on, on that movie Kids. I, I can feel it just stuck between my teeth, the little sperms. This ain't them. Like, dude, this is the most nastiest conversation I've ever heard in my life. That's when Rosario Dawson became a star. That conversation would not make me feel better about the relationship. That was all the guys I had had sex with before I met you. Right before I met Teddy Grahams. See those Teddy Grahams right over the shoulder. Any ladies out there, that's how you... And guys too, I mean, that's how... You know, if you're, if you're current... Girlfriend, boyfriend, they're getting mad at you. Y'all had that stupid conversation you're never supposed to have about how many you've had before and all the people you've been with before you met. And you, you, that's how you. That's how, that's the emphasis you put on it. That's how you tell them. All of one hundred and three and, and twenty eight of those people were the people that I met before you, right before I met you. This you said just like that, and make it worse. You never start that conversation. I don't give a damn if it's just two people. It's too too many. In their eyes, guys are like, well, you're a conqueror, I'm a conqueror. But no matter what the number is, a guy's going to look at a girl like a slut. It could have just been two guys. I just went down and two guys. Oh, my God, you're such a fucking whore. That's what we think. All that nasty stuff. Man, you learned that lesson on what? What was that movie? That was uh, Chasing Amy. There's nothing new under the sun. And anything she's willing to do to you, she's done, she's done way before you got there. 37 times. All right, we're now at another marker here. That's uh one hour twenty minutes. Jay and Silent Bob. Got all that drug money. Jason Muse, he fucking carried that movie, man. When Jason Silent Bob Strikes Back had all the fucking dialogue. Carried that movie. He did a good job, man. So you can always tell that fucking gay ass Amy story, but. <laughs> that shit was funny. You don't want to just say what's on your damn mind, man. You always tell that dumb ass gay Amy story. So all she did was change the tire. You see that shit? Didn't I see her change the tire one time? But yeah, man, hey, 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 I jacked up the car, man. All she did was everything else. I jacked the car up. I put the car down. I drove off. I bet she even picked up the car, the tire, and threw it in the back seat. To my goodbye, Dante. Jib joint. Best advice ever. It's like, what the fuck am I doing? Yeah, thinking about all this shit now that she's cat- that Caitlyn's catatonic. I bet if Caitlyn was on the way, he'd be like, man, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about, man. Get the fuck out of my store. Damn junkies. Call them cops. All of a sudden, Caitlyn turns into damaged good after fucking The Walking Dead. All of a sudden, it's like, Veronica, I love you. Could you imagine what would have happened if Veronica would have caught Caitlyn in there talking to Dante? Veronica, what the fuck is this? (laughs) 
Dude, Randall told her everything. That was the, that's the part I didn't get. Not saying like, okay, you know what? You know, I think he wants to break up with you. That's one thing. But hey, but you know what? He's been talking to Kaylin for weeks. That's man, that was the part that I was like, wait a second, why, Randall? Why'd you? What the heck was all that? I mean, I was trying to help. Yeah, you trying to help? You didn't. You tell her that I want to break up. You don't tell her why. You don't tell her all the details. What the hell? A bro code? This was this movie came out before the bro code. This speech made her way more, more desirable to me. I was I was thirteen years old. I'm just falling in love with this woman. I wonder how good that lasagna really was. This girl had your back, man. That's what it's all about. And you got a woman like this that just has your back. Yeah, she's damaged. She's got some damaged past. She got she got some issues. But when she lets you know to your face what you really lost, what you fucked up, that's the speech that always hurts the most. And not, and that's the word. That's the part that makes it worse. She thinks that he set him up for it, uh, for it. She came in, knew everything as if she was spying on him the whole time, had like surveillance or some shit. She knew everything. He was like freaking out, like, what the hell happened? That this fight made a whole bunch of sense. It was like, well, what do I mean? You know, don't fight your boy. No, 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 no. He broke the bro code. Told not only did he did something, yeah, you know, but you know, with good intentions. He thought he was doing something to help, but you went way too far. With the details on it, this is the part I like. <laughs> Randall just broke into laughter. He couldn't help it. I saw him laugh. That cat would have took off running by then. Look at that controlled miss. <laughs> they gently put the bread on the floor. The candy spit. They put it all back. Kevin Smith was like, "I ain't paying for all this fucking Gatorade. You put all this shit back after that fight. Don't sit on the candy. Move it to the side. You make it look like you're in." I bet all those Skittles, everything, I bet it went right back in those boxes. Goobers. Get all this product placement. Skittles. Clark. Mount. Let's, let's play the Which Candy Doesn't Exist game. I think Goobers is out of here. Almost completely out of here. The O. Henry bar, it's not going anywhere, but come on. Who buys O. Henry? Clark. I don't. I think those are out of here. Where's the whatchamacallit at? I love whatchamacallits. There goes Eminem. See gummy bears to the bottom left. Ostensibly. Hermaphrodites. It's the next stage before pegging. Look it up, people. Pegging. P E G G I N G. Pornhub.com. Let me guess, you're not supposed to be here today? You? You? Yes, right, you got you. It was you, son. Crunch bar, Twix. Tootsie Roll, look at all that shit. Milky Way, god damn. Getting hungry. Charles, what the hell is a Charles bar? I still say that line to this day. You push, we, all we do is we push fucking buttons. A monkey could do our jobs. We feel this way about all the customers, though, man. Why are you spitting water on them all the damn time? That's the thing I don't get. Like, I, I, can't, I can't even look at you anymore, Dante. I'm out of here. That's right. I, can't, I still can't pronounce this word. Denouement? What is that?
They're late. World's fattest man weds tiniest woman. I think I remember that tabloid. Sixteen ounce sodas, eighty cents. Shit, that, that was too high back then. I wish they were eighty cents now. Sixteen ounce sodas, man. It's supposed to be fifty cents, man. All these those convenience stores, man. I think he did the dance. Did he do the dance on part two? Rips the sign down. Close. It was good. I always ended on this, man. I never watched that deleted scene that much anymore. This movie ended like the way it should have. That was the best. I'm glad they went with this ending and then versus him getting shot. That wouldn't have made any sense. It's not like he was thinking, I'm going to make a sequel out of this. This is going to be huge. We get Rosario Dawson. We're going to go down. Do a dance scene, it's gonna be great. No, no, he just looked at it and he did his job. The cat shit watching customer, Joe Bagnoli. That's what you're tagged at for the rest of this video's existence, especially in my video cure. The cat shit watching customer, <laughs> the angry mourners. Mm. Little smoking girl, friend, one of Boo Boo Kitty Child. <laughs> mm. Sync fix, master sound. Damn, this thing even had a soundtrack. I didn't even realize that. Kill the sex player, got me wrong, making me sick. Chewbacca, I love that song. Go your own way. Go your own way. Leaders and followers, Violet Mood, Berserker. Can't even tell. Had to max out those cards, baby. It made it seem like he did all the work himself, man. You be paid a lot of money for those. I mean, a lot of people got paid to make this film. All these names. Thanks to the Quick Stop, thanks to the RST Video, thanks to Jan Film Lab, thanks to Steve and Choice, thank you Film Video Arts, thank you Boba Shay, thank you Butch and Merle King, thank you DC Comics, thank you Magno, thank you Amy, thank you David, and thank you Jeff, thank you Janet for being who you were, the fluffer. But a special thanks to God without whom I couldn't have done any of this. Thanks to mom and dad for letting me max out the credit cards. Thank you, Mark, Dr. Love Tuck, for not giving up. And Mrs. Leponte for the note. I wonder what that note said. 1994. For Uncle Al, Jay and Silent Bob will return in dogma. They just added that in, man. There's no way that that Jay and Silent Bob will. Did he have the idea for dogma even way back then? I have got to Google that shit. Smoking weed. Well, that's it, guys. That's my uh, that's that's the commentary for Clerks, man. This is the movie that made everything happen, man. It wouldn't be no talking to the media without this movie. Got to reach out to all these actors, man. Kevin Smith, Brian O'Halloran, Jeff Anderson, Marilyn. I got. I, I mean, come on. You gotta come on the show. You gotta let me come on your shows. Whatever you guys are doing, we gotta we gotta have a beer, man. Till next time, guys. Appreciate you listening to my stupid ranting, my stupid talk. No, this is how I, this is how me and my guys, my, my my guys, man, my friend. That sounded good. Me and my friends, man. We talk, man. The guys when we get together, we just this is what we talk about, man. Just some stupid stuff. But um, let's keep this going, man. Till the next time, we're gonna. I'm gonna record some uh, of these commentaries on uh, on the video. I'll put them on YouTube too, and uh, we'll, do, we'll do some TV shows, some YouTube videos. Catch you right here, man. You want, but you know, don't forget, guys. You're gonna you're gonna get your 
your movie videos and uh, not your movie videos. What am I talking about? I mean, it's, it's, it's time for bed, Chris. You can get your uh, movie tickets. You like the you know you like Fandango. You get on Fandango.com. Just click the links that you see right here, and you know you want you want to go see a good movie. Stop right here, you know, and, and get them from talking through the media. Man, help support us, man. Get your movie tickets from talking through the media. We're not affiliated with uh, Fandango. You want to buy this movie? I highly recommend you do what I do. Go to Amazon.com. There's a link right here. You want to watch this movie? You want to rent it? You want to buy it? Amazon. We're affiliated with them as well. Go check it out. Go to Amazon.com and uh, and get and get your copies. Get everything from the viewers universe. I want to thank you, Kevin Smith, for a great film, a great time, for changing my life, and uh, not in that weird uncle way. <laughs> uncle Kevin Smith, he he he, he, uh, he he changed my life. I'll never forget him. And show us on the show us on the doll where he changed your life. Okay. <laughs> but special thanks to Kevin Smith, man. With, without without any of this, man. This without this movie, man, my life. I don't know what I'd be doing right now. I do not know what I'd be doing. But uh, I probably would be doing it terribly. Until next time, guys. Peace.